Hey, welcome back YouTube. So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new updated video. I'm gonna go and walk you through on how to customize your Amazon Fire Stick with photos and videos of memorabilia. So that way when you have guests over, you can entertain them with some photos and pictures of uh, similar events that you have with them. So let's go and jump right into this and let's go and get into it. All right, so let's go and jump right into this. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is go over to our settings. And I want to show you some settings for your screensaver. So we go down, we go over to display and sound. And then in here, you click on display and sound. In here, you'll see screensaver as an option. And you want to click on screensaver. Once you have done that, You'll see in the background different pictures that you may already have on your Amazon Fire Stick. So I'll show you how to get all that towards the middle of this video. But before we get into that, the memories here that you see on the background, kind of grayish there, those are the images that I have installed on the Amazon Fire Stick. Um, so those images, you have all your memorabilia and you can also create your Amazon Fire Stick and turn it into a digital photo album while you're not using it that way when you have guests over you can entertain them easily by showing them different pictures and stuff on the background of your tv screen if you don't want to play tv and you just want to play something in the background um like and show images or videos old videos like home videos stuff like that but in here you have your amazon collection daily memories your photos recent photos wedding photos by default you'll only have amazon collection which gives you the mountains the desert the forest uh, the ocean all those different types of images but when you download the additional features you get um, your photos wedding photos any other albums that you set up you can set up for yourself um, and then you also have these different sliders so you can do a pan and zoom you can do a dissolve you can do a mosaic you can change the slider speed slow medium fast anything of your choice um, you can also change the start time to where you can set it to come on at five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes or never um, so keep that in mind the Alexa hints that you can also turn on bottom left hand corner says try Alexa show my audiobooks that's an Alexa hint that's what that means and then you have your shuffle feature where say you add these photos on here and you want to add them in a way to where it doesn't show the same photo over and over you can just set it to shuffle and it'll show different photos all right and those are the preferences that you can set for yourself it's all about your personal preference that's why i wanted to show you the settings first before i show you the specific app so if we go down to your apps and channels and go to see all everyone should already have this app on their amazon fire stick by default if you don't have the app it's called amazon photos or just photos and you can download it from the app store and the convenience about this this app is uh, that you don't actually need to control anything from the physical app on the Amazon Fire Stick. Everything can be controlled from your mobile phone. So let me show you what I mean by this. All right, so what I did for all the people who will just use it for free, so I created a random Amazon uh, account. You can go to the Amazon.com, just create, a, create an account, and it's very simple. It says here you get five gigs of free photos and video storage for all Amazon customers. So all you have to do is set up an account and you'll have access to this. And then you can change and you can add as many photos as you like uh, all the way up until five gigs photos and videos. You can set it to automatically update or sync up with your device, your mobile phone. I don't like that feature because I don't want all my pictures synced up to my Fire Stick. So I just pick and choose which ones I want. So um, in here, I just pick and choose. You can just select them and then they'll automatically sync to your Amazon Fire Stick. And they give you a quick preview of how simple it is. You just select the images and then from there all you have to do is click the upload button. And then once you click the upload it says upload it to your Amazon Photos. And it's as simple as that. And uh, you, the way it works is uh, bottom right hand corner if you click on more. And it says here there's an option here personalize Echo Show and Fire TV. So you can personalize that and in here it's searching, it'll search for all the devices that are connected to the Amazon account that you set up. So remember your account for your Fire Stick has to be logged in with the same Amazon Photos account on your phone or computer. So as long as your Photos app is set up with the same email address, you'll be fine. So just keep that in mind, otherwise it won't find the Amazon Fire Stick that you're looking for because it's under a different email address. 
Also within the settings of the settings app, you can also specify whether you're using an SD card. If you're not able to find your specific photos on your phone, just check that box and set, set it to where you're using an SD card and that way it'll find it. Another additional feature with this, if you go to manage storage, it'll tell you how much you've used and how much you have left as for the free accounts. But if you have the Amazon Prime, you have unlimited photo storage. You can store as many as you want. So for the free accounts, if you wanted to pay an additional for like 100 gigs or one terabyte, those are the prices there, $19.99 per year or $59 per year. But for, I mean, if I was you, I would just stick with the free account and get the free five gig storage, which is plenty. And once you're done uploading your photos, you'll end up something similar to this on your TV screen while you're not using it. You have your memorabilia showing. I have the pan and zoom style feature where it zooms in on the pictures. I can change it to a dissolve or a mosaic. And remember, we can change that at any time through the settings on our Amazon Fire Stick. So I did want to briefly show you how this will work with Prime accounts. And also, this is my primary account that my Fire Sticks are connected to. So I'm going to show you how to connect your Amazon devices to this account. So the uh, settings that you have here are the same as the free account. The only difference is that you get free unlimited photo storage. That's the only difference. You can also sync your photos and videos with your Amazon Photos account if you wanted to. That way it's always backed up in case you, know, you lose your phone, crack your phone, anything. They'll always be backed up for you. All right, so once you have logged in and proceeded through, you'll see your pictures. You'll already be hovered over the photo section. This is where you have the option, the full option, to add or select or remove any photo from your Amazon Photos app, which will then in turn show on your Fire TV. So this is where I wanted to show you. So as you can see, all my Fire 6 show under this account, mainly because, once again, I'm logged in with the same email address on my Amazon Fire Stick as I am with the Amazon Photos app. That's the only way your Fire Sticks will show in the app, so just keep that in mind. That's the most important thing out of all this. Um, you can also buy pictures. Uh, I'll probably buy some for myself, but they do make it easy to where you can buy prints and hang stuff on the wall. Um, you know, in case you're interested in that, I thought I'd show it to you. Okay, so for those of you who do not wish to have their photos on the Amazon Fire Stick, there are different apps that you can use that do give you multiple different wallpapers and multiple motion uh, wallpapers so I'll show you that real quick this is one of them I like this one because it kind of has the uh, the candle there and then it's got the snow falling which is pretty cool it's uh, eye-catching it does set the mood uh, depending on if it's winter time or they have different ones for Christmas uh, ocean beach they also have the fireplace which is a very popular one so let me show you how to get that on your Amazon fire stick that way you'll have multiple different options and choices for yourself Alright, so I switched back to the Amazon Fire 6 screen. So at first glance, you may think this is some type of screen saver, but it's actually not. It's actually just an app that you launch on your Amazon Fire Stick and it just stays up and this is what you see when you launch that app. And you can change it. It has music. Uh, you can change the music from up and down. You can change the brightness of it. You can change it to a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. It's all up to you. It's your preference. Uh, there's multiple apps like this, and I'll show you how to get those. This one's called um, Snow Ambient uh, or Virtual Snow Snowfall. This is Virtual Snowfall for free. They have different images. This one only has two images to where you can set. You can set it to this one or the candle one with the, the falling snow. And once again, if you like this one, this one is called Virtual Snowfall Free. Let it snow on your TV. So I'm going to go back to the Amazon Fire Stick home screen, and I'll show you how to get some of these types of apps on your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so we're back on the Amazon Fire Stick home screen. And from here, all we have to do is make our way over to the app section. So we'll go over to the apps. And then right here, if you click down once, You'll see this featured games and categories. There's three options directly below apps. They're kind of fine print, so they're right there. Featured games and categories. You want to make your way over to categories, and then the option that you're looking for in here, there's multiple different categories, but you're looking for customization. And if you click on customization, this is where you'll find multiple different apps a lot of them are uh, have ratings so I would choose the one that has the highest ratings because some are poor quality some are high quality and some are like the ones that I showed you 
In this section, you should see a wide variety of different options. So they have fireplace, they have Christmas, they have color bursts, they have beach, they have weather, they have multiple different things. I even see galaxy, the moon, thunderstorms, city, skylines. So they do have something in here for everyone. And just keep in mind that you may see some with price tags along with them. Those are, are probably more quality images, so you can pay for them. Some of them are $9.99. They range in price, but I would stick with the free ones because the free ones are just as good. Also, I do want to show you how I found the one that I showed you in the video. So in case you're looking for that specific one, let me show you how I found that one. Okay, so the way I found that one, I went up and I was looking at this Christmas one. It caught my eye, so Christmas Tree HD. You'll probably see that in your options. If you click on that one, and then from here, it says customers also bought the virtual Snowfall Free. That's the way I found that one. Uh, you can also search for it by name, but if you're looking for something quick, just go in here, find the Christmas app, and then look at the customers also bought section, and it should be the first option there for you. All right, folks, so I appreciate you watching. This is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see something specific. Let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.